Hello everyone, this is Deva Brata once again and today I'm planning to take a class on recursive CTE. So that will be the continuation of our last class. So if it is the first time you are seeing this class, so I will request you just to revise the basic idea of common table expression because that will be mandatory in this class and it will be kind of advanced version of the class. So if you if you feel you can you can skip it as well. So recursive CTE is something like when a CTE, I'm not going into the much details of what is CTE because that is already covered in the first class. So when a CTE calls itself, then it is being called as a recursive CTE. It is something like if you are defining something, if you are defining CTE, if you are defining one CTE and using the same CTE name in the definition, like you are, you are defining water, mentioning like a, okay water is like a water so something like that I, I might be sound stupid but it it looks something like this so let let me show you some examples of recursive ct in this class basically we were not going to learn any new thing the zero zero new thing so we will be just seeing some of the examples so for this class specifically i will provide you four examples so first of the examples, like if anyone asks, like creating sequence, like here, as per the question, if you if you um, need to print 1 to 20 in SQL Server, how to do that? So if you are following my classes from the very start, we can do this using the variable. Let me show you one small example very quickly. Uh, suppose we can do something like this. But here, the problem is these result sets will be printed separately. What I'm trying to mean, I'm just going to show you in just 10 seconds. So here, if I just print, it is going to print 1 to 20. But you can see these are the different result set. So this is the first result set. Only one has been printed. So this is the second result set where two has been printed. So this is not our um, we are looking we are not looking for this we want 1 to 20 in a single result set in a same place 1 to 20 will be printed so to do that we will going to use the recursive CTE for the very first time but before that start with some anchor statement or initial statement no definition need to be uh, remembered so here if I define one CTE as something like with an initial statement like okay select one as x something and here i can print select star from ct so this is a very simple example of ct and it is going to print you one now what i will do i will use this ct and do i will use this x one x equals to one what i will do i am going to do like select x from ct obviously it is going to give me one, but this time I just want to print one plus one, two. And I want to club this result set with the previous result set. So I just want to get this new record from the city and it will look like something like here. Another box will be coming. And I am expecting like two will be printed here. And I just want to do a union all with the previous one. So it will look like something like this. Now, again, the next turn, it is the definition of CTE. So I'm using the CTE here itself. So I'm, I want to do another plus one. So it is, it is going to bring another three here. So two plus one, it is going to give another three. And it will keep iterating in a loop for infinite time. So it will go like three, four, five, six, and so on. So if I just run this example, it is going to, okay, sorry, uh, if I run it fully and let me clear the drawing. So here you can see it was printing one, it is the initial statement. Then two, it is something we got it like one plus one. After the three, it is like two plus one equals to three and it goes on. You can see. 
So by default, recursion can take place up to 100 times. So here, when it, it reaches to 100 or 101, so it, it, it was just stopped. You can see. So 100 times means still 101, it is stopped. So for me, I do not want to make infinite numbers. I do not have any intention, any such intention. So for me, it will be enough if I put a stop statement. Like, okay, I do not, you do not need to go till infinite. Just stop when the value of x is less than 19 or even less equals to 19. So when it is 19, we are going to get 19 plus 1 equals to 20. So if I run, it is going to give me 1 to 20 and in a single result set. You see, it is a single result set. So that is the use of recursive CTE. So first define. So what is the rule? First define an initial statement. Some people call it like anchor statement, whatever you can call. Again, no one is looking for how much you can remember. Union all is like whatever you will get, club it together to present it together in a single result set. And here you can write reuse the CTE with a break statement or with a stop statement, whatever you can you can. A stop condition or stop criteria, whatever you can call it. There is no hardcore definition of it. So initial statement just to start the line, then reduce the city to generate further numbers with a stop criteria. Obviously, otherwise it is going to run forever. Or I can do something like this to make you understand. Here, the stop criteria and here, I can write reuse the city something like this we can we can think about like there is nothing hardcore you need to remember so this is the structure of the recursive city to print 1 to 20 so again as i told you like if you are not clear this class i'm just going to give you four examples just to make you clear from all different ways so, but uh, before going into the second example, just one small thing, like some, if someone is interested to print till 200, so he or she will not be able to do that because maximum recursion level is 100. So that is okay. That is the default number. But if you want, you can make, you can, you can make it like, like, uh, like as per the requirement. So I can make it like, uh, okay, let it be 500 maximum recursion. 500. So now if I run, it is going to give me till 200. You can see. By default, if you do not mention this line, it will be 100. But if you want to manipulate that if needed if with intentions, uh, so then you can you can change it accordingly. So but for the timing, it is not at all important. Better to look at into different examples first. So example two is saying like some practical sequences. Suppose if we have some web series table and if we want to print all the web series uh, seasons, how to do that? So what exactly I want to do? Something like, uh, let's create a table, create table uh, web series something. Oh, sorry, web series. Let me put something like uh, web series ID web series name that is uh, worker thousand and you can put all the seasons i generally do not get much time to see all those but uh, let me take this advantage of this class because all the time I, I i speak boring technical things i know but this time let me um, share some of my favorite web series as well so first uh, i can mention like web series id one and let me put something like game of thrones i really like that and i i take a lot of inspiration as well when i was in college i started to see that and uh, though it was ended in a very bad manner uh, i thought a lot of things is going to happen but it was not in reality but again, uh, it, it is good. Even the uh, the prequel series that was also good, like uh, uh, House of Dragon. So it it 
taught us how to fight, uh, even if um, how to make the strategy, even if you do not have the dragons or the power, instead of saying that. So uh, here I can write Big Bang Theory uh, with 12 seasons, something like this. So, okay, let me insert this data here. Mm -hmm. Something I did wrong. Uh, insert. Oh, I, I haven't created the table probably. Let me create the table. Yep. And now let me insert the data. Uh, uh, we are good with the uh, three rows. Now, if anyone asks us to print all the data, so let me do it right with T as or with CT as whatever you can, you can use the name. And here if I write select web series name, comma seasons from web series you can share like uh, what uh, what are the web series you you find good or your favorite web series again it is not an entertainment class but still we can uh, discuss that as well so here so if i write select star from city it is going to give me all three web series name so that is the initial data so this is the CT. If I write it somewhere, so it is actually the CTE initial data that we are getting from this, that we are getting from this CTE. So these three are the initial data. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this data, select star from CTE. What I'm going to do, I'm just taking the web series name and season minus one. Seasons minus one from the same city. So what it is going to give me, it is going to give me another three rows here. Just try to imagine how, how the things are going. So Game of Thrones this time with seven because I have written seven season minus one. Breaking Bad with four and Big Bang Theory with uh, 11 something like that it is going to give us again that city will be used and next time it is going to give us 6 3 and 10 and so on it will be forever and at the very end i just want to union all or i or i want to get all the result in a single result set that's why i'm putting union all so this is the initial query giving the initial definition of city. This is the union all, mandatory union all. And here we are, we are deriving all other seasons from the initial value, one by one by one. So now if I run this, it is going to give me a crazy result like uh, if you can see. Okay, let me clear this one, clear this drawing. Okay, you can see it is 9, 8, 7, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and I do not need all those minus. Here, I didn't give the stop condition. So here, I want to mention like, okay, until the season value is greater than equals to 2, I am fine with that. Season greater than equals to 2. Why 2? If we give 1, then it will give me 1 minus 1, 0. So 0 season is not a good thing if i show you look breaking bad zero big bang theory zero it is it makes no sense so i just want to iterate it till it the value becomes two so that means two minus one it is going to give us one so the the minimum value it will give us as one so here i can write order by web series name and if i run you can see Big Bang Theory 12, 11, 10 accordingly. Then if you see Big uh, Breaking Bad, something like this. Okay, Breaking Bad 5 as well. And then Game of Thrones, all eight seasons. So that is one of the practical use. Even you can see the links in, in uh, somewhere uh, like in Torrent or in Telegram or in even in Netflix or Amazon Prime, something they, they displayed sometime these seasons like this as well, with the links as well. But uh, again, I'm not going to share the links, even I do not have. Uh, but just on one practical examples that we can do. Now, if we go for example three, 
And let's take an example of hierarchical data. Hierarchical data means uh, if I show you once in a class of self join, I have used that table. It was like employee details, yes. So this is a company, a small company with only nine people where Kritika is the HR or a, a CEO, sorry. Kritika is the CEO. Kritika is the boss, super boss of the office. Kritika has no manager on top of her. Now Mahesh and Eni works from two different locations. Mahesh and Eni reports to Kritika 101, whose ID is 101. Rajeshekhar and Yasmin reports to 103, that is any. Rajesh and Denjong reports to 104, that is Rajeshekhar. So my, no one reports to Mahesh. Mahesh is the only one who reports to Kritika, but no one reports to Mahesh. You can see 102. You cannot find 102 here because no one reports to Mahesh. Mahesh is not a manager. He is probably reports directly to the CEO. That's all. So now Shreya is a newcomer. Say Shreya reports to 104. Who is 104? Rajeshekar. So Yashmin, Rajesh, uh, sorry, Rajesh, Denjong and Shreya reports to 104. That is Shreya. So something, if we want to draw something like that, let me try to draw a hierarchy first. Here, if we if we just try to imagine what are the levels look like, so it will look like something like this. But how to represent that with um, with the SQL Server? So it is very difficult to represent that. So the Kritika, we can say like it is in she is in level one. Then Mahesh and Eni is at level two. Accordingly, Rajeshekhar and Yashmin at level three. And all are the newcomers are at level four. And it might grow. Someone new might come with level five as per the company. The employee number also might grow. But that is a different thing. So this small company are having four levels. So now how to represent that using uh, recursive city? Or what if you have any other way to represent that levels? randomly because it might have four levels it might have five levels even some big companies are having 10 20 levels as well so how to how to solve this one so that is the question so now here i do not want that much amount of data so because there are a lot of informations involved here so i'm just want to make it short with the initial statement so let me take eid and ename comma one as a level or I can write level. So the initial one, I just want to start with Kritika. So where manager ID is null. So I just want to start with Kritika, like where manager ID is null, that person will be called as level one. So that is Kritika actually. So, okay, let me make it in the next line. Yeah. So now if I run this city, select start from city. So it is just going to give me the data of Kritika. You can see the data of Kritika as a level one. So now I'm just going to use this city data further. What I'm going to do now, select, 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 uh, start from employee details table. I'm just trying to find other employees who reports to Kritika. So I'm just going to join CT as C. I'm just going to see who are those employees whose manager ID equals to this, equals to this Kritika's employee ID. Means who's, which, are, which are the employees whose manager ID is equals to this CTE.EID. Means the ID EID we are getting from CTE. That is Kritika's ID. So I'm just looking for the employees whose manager ID is 101. So where, from where I'm getting this 101? From the CTE itself, from the initial line. So I'm just going to explore those employees who reports to Kritika. 
So I just want to print their employee ID, e.e ID. I just want to print their employee name and the level I'm getting from the CTE, C dot level. Actually, this level was not a part of the actual table. So we are we have defined it for Kritika in this CTE itself. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do as a plus one. So this level one plus one. So that means whoever reports to Kritika will be called as level two. And I'm going to club these records together. Now, if I run, automatically the other members like Mahesh and Any is at level two. Even in the picture, you can see Mahesh and Any is in level two. Rajashekhara and Yashmin is on level three. And Puja, Rajesh, Denjong, Shreya, though they report to different managers, like Puja reports to Yashmin and Shreya reports to Rajeshikara, but all of them are at level 4. You can see that is the idea of recursive city. First, define your manager, the first record of the city, and then check further. So if you imagine only City, city has an advantage. I know it is very tough, but still one advantage. If you just imagine the situation for Mahesh and any, and you can print it like, okay, level one plus one, that is level two, Mahesh and any are at level two. Thinking that only is enough. You do not need to think about Raja Shekhara and Yashmin. You do not need to think about Rajesh, Denjong, how they will be printed. You do not need to think about. Just think about one level. That's all. Automatically, the next levels will be calculated automatically. You just, you just write the first line from where the city will be started. And you just imagine the second line, how the next line will be calculated. Rest of the lines will be calculated automatically. And that is the power of CTE. CTE can explore this hierarchical data as well. So it can go into the each corner and fetch the data. So you do not need to take, you do not need to be audited. You do not need to think like, okay, how Puja and Shreya will be calculated as four. Just imagine, just put the Kritika's data as a first data and then just try to figure out who reports to Kritika. So who are the employees whose manager ID is matching with the Kritika's ID? Because the Kritika was part of that CTE as a first line. So if you just imagine about the first and second level, all other level will be automatically calculated. You do not need to think about that. So that is another example of a practical use for the hierarchical data. If um, uh, in any anywhere, if they ask for the hierarchical organizational data, you can use this uh, type of uh, CTE to uh, explore the data or to find out the final result. So the last example for the day, uh, we have checked a lot of things using uh, tables. So last of the things I just want to uh, say like, okay, how to split a string data or a varchar data or a sentence, whatever you can call it. So uh, let me, I'm not interested anymore to work with some tables because I have shown you a lot of tables example. So let's take uh, a variable as varchar. And let's put some data inside that. So let me put some data like uh, India, say UK, USA, say uh, Italy, uh, whatever you can put, Australia, something like that. So here, if I write with CTE as, so you can use CTE anywhere. That is my purpose to show actually. Select at the retex, that's all. And here I can write, uh, select star from city. So now if I run, it is going to give me an error because always city has to be started with, uh, always the query should be started with the city. If not, you have to give a semicolon. Here we have some previous lines. That's why I have to initiate it with a semicolon. In the previous examples, the, the query itself started with, with city. So we do not need to use that uh, semicolon. But it is a good practice always to use that. No issue if you always use that semicolon. Okay. 
it is a good practice but if you are not you can you have to use this semicolon if with cts this line is not the first line of a query that's why here it gives the error now i have uh, i put the semicolon and it should be working good okay so something i did wrong with uh, cts no column name was specified okay let me put some column name like like uh, uh, parts or whatever if i run so look it is just printing everything together so now i just want to get something like okay the index i want to find where i can find the first comma so index so i can write care index a function like care index and i can find where i'm getting the first comma and it should be in sixth position after india i can find the first comma so it is at sixth position you can see one two three four five and six so it is fine now what i'm i am interested on i just wanted to take the substring of this at the rate x from one to six or five in indeed so this is the way of the uh, this is the way of the uh, substring method so here i will find like okay six minus one five okay so one two five i want to take five characters so it is going to give me india from first position to fifth position that why that's why i have used six minus one five so i will get india okay if i run i will get india so let me put it like as a first part as a first part and if i put a comma and just if i use that substring again to calculate the remaining part what will be the remaining part 6 plus 1 7 means sorry 6 plus 1 7 that means i want to start from here and till the end from 7 till the end so length of at the rate x so if i run this okay let me remain let me rewrite it as a remaining so if i run uh, sorry i did something wrong okay i have to give a bracket probably if i execute yeah so the first part is india and the remaining is uk us italy australia blah 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 everything so now i will going to use the same city this time so this is the first result of the city so this time uh, so no, sorry the next time i'm going to use the same city but i want i'm interested on that remaining part so instead of cal uh, instead of splitting x i am interested now to split the remaining part from the city so i'm just i'm just replacing all the x with remaining because india is already splitted I'm now interested to split the in the same way. In the same way, I'm interested to split this remaining part, like UK, US, Italy, Australia. So if you have done that, just do a union all. So here, if I run, you can see India first time has been fetched out from X, and remaining part was UK, US, Italy, Australia. Next time from remaining part, I applied the same logic. I just, you can see, I just applied the same logic in the first result of CT. But this time with the remain for the remaining column, for this column. So if I take this in the second round, I will get UK as a part and remaining will be USA, Italy and Australia. Next turn, USA will be fetched out, Italy and Australia will be remaining part. Then Italy will be fetched out, Australia will be in a remaining part. Why Australia is not fetched? Because here there is no comma after Australia. So if you want, if the string is provided like this, what do you need to do? You need to do something like this. Uh, sorry, something like this. So you just need to put a comma at the very end. So now if I run, 
if i if i show you so it is like india uk us italy australia blah 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 so here we are getting some error because we have to put something like this it will be executing until remaining is not equals to null remaining will not become as blank until that time you have to execute it so now if i execute it is giving me the result without any error so you can see now as the final result you do not need to print the remaining part it will be enough if you just print the part field so if i just print part field in 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 the from the city so it is just going to give me all the names in a splitted order you can see here everything was mentioned together but here we splitted it out into different rows so if it is kind of requirement then you can use this recursive city just as a revise what i have done i took the first split first time i splitted india and remaining part was uk us or india italy australia second turn i took the remaining part and split it in the similar way but the only difference is first time i use the original variable to split it next time i'm just using remaining field to split out with the same logic just the field is different this field is taken from the city itself for, for after the first time run so that is our idea that is some practical user cases where we can use uh, recursive cities we, i have a lot of examples as well but i'm not going to show that otherwise it will becoming tough so just revise all those things by yourself and i hope it will be clear if not just let me know where exactly you are getting the problem we can discuss this further uh, if if needed i can show you some other class as well or i can add in something else but just let me know so these are the uh, details where you can get further uh, uh, further um, resources even if you have any problem you can send me a mail or post something in our facebook group any one of us will try to help you so that's the idea of recursive cte and uh, we will check some new topics on our next class for the time being bye